thanks for watching Denver 7 News at 6. Tonight, I'm Shannon Ogden. I'm Ann Trujillo. The pandemic created a new problem for RTD. With fewer people riding public transit, violence and drug use ticked up at RTD stations. And tonight, we have a 360 in-depth look at ways RTD has tried to make their station safer, along with a new tactic that falls in line with other major cities. First, it started with trying to clean up the areas and add more law enforcement presence. And then RTD tried to go the route of closing the public bathrooms, where trace amounts of the powerful synthetic opioid fentanyl were found. And now RTD's CEO wants to make sure the only people using their stations are paying customers. Denver 7 CB Cotton is live. So CB, walk us through the timeline of this new approach and also the struggles the agency has had in the process. And Shannon, RTD hopes that making certain areas of the bus terminal only accessible to ticket holders will cut down on crime and drug use. Now, as the agency works to put infrastructure in place for this, they have faced a ton of supply chain issues and, of course, questions from the public about their processes to achieve these end goals. This man by the name of Breck says RTD is the only way he gets around. Both of them, bus and the train. At times, he feels his commute puts him in the center of danger. Yeah, it's not, um, it's not pleasant. Over the past six months, Denver police and RTD Transit Police have tried to crack down on the crime and drug use in Denver's iconic Union Station. Those efforts included shutting down the public restrooms and deactivating electrical outlets to keep people from lingering in the underground bus terminal. Breck says he's still waiting for the restrooms to reopen. I'm 67 years old and I could use a bathroom on my trip. It takes me two hours to go where I'm going, so I rely on a bathroom. So. Now I'm uh, disposed to uh, wander around in the streets and use other restaurants and things. I ask them to use their bathroom, so it gets a little transient for even people that are paying the fare. This week, RTD CEO Deborah Johnson responding to some commuter frustrations in a public transit forum. She says she wants the area to be accessible, but that supply chain issues have caused some hiccups. I found out that we've been notified that we should have the doors for the restrooms within eight weeks. RTD confirming to Denver 7, while the bathrooms were expected to reopen by the end of June, that's been pushed to August. But over the next 12 to 16 months, we will start to see other portions of RTD's bus terminal become closed off, at least to those who haven't paid a fare. Where you actually access the system by using fare media to open up the gate so you gain entry. That is what is underway. Fair media, meaning something like a card for entry. Breck left hoping once everything is complete, he'll feel safer. When you go places, you see people making drug uh, drug transactions in the bathrooms, on the corners, uh, up and down on the escalators, outside the doors. And so you have to walk a gauntlet to get through to, to take the escalator down and get your ride to go to work. So it's unpleasant. 